Hey guys, Glenn McDonald out here today with my brother-in-law. We've been out for the last couple days here on world famous Eagle Lake. We got a big one in the net yesterday. Stick around to the end of the video to see that 51 hit the bag. We've got a couple other ones here, some small ones. Kyla got one. We're working a point here right now. I just raised like a 42. And if you guys want to see some of the must-have lures for Eagle Lake, check the little link right here. I'll include the video that I did earlier this year. And I'll give you guys some play-by-play -play as we go here. So for right now, let's get back to fishing. Hey guys, so to start this video here, Richard and I and my daughter, Katie. How you doing, Katie? Good. We were fishing this little kind of weed saddle and we had raised two nice muskies in there. And to set up this next video, I thought that I hooked into a muskie. So let's start that video right now. Okay, so here I thought I hooked into the muskie that we just raised and obviously it's not. We're like, okay, it's a pike, but we knew there was two fish in this spot. It was just unfortunate that we didn't happen to catch that one. Okay, so to set this next segment up, this is my wife Kyla and her sister Kendra. That's Auntie Kendra to you, right yeah. Katie? They went out in the evening on day one and they were able to hook into a fish and we'll kind of run that segment and I'll give you a little bit of a play by play because Kyla gets hit in a blind figure eight and it kind of takes her off guard. So let's start that clip here right now. Okay, so here they are fishing and they'd seen a couple fish in this area, Kyla had said to me after the fact. And the importance here is that Kyla reels in and she does a bit of a lazy oh, figure eight and, and this fish hits on the outside of the first turn. We'll let it kind of play here. It kind of catches her yeah. off guard. Here she goes into the eight. And it definitely hits her off guard. Kyle, Kendra's reeling in, trying to grab the net. And it's obviously hooked pretty good. It's not a huge fish, so Kyla wasn't overly concerned with it. And we'll just kind of let the segment run out here a little bit. And that particular fish as the... Uh, the little sign said there, that was caught on a Bondi Royal Orba. Okay, to set up the next segment, which is the 51 that we actually catch, and that was pretty exciting, wasn't it, Katie? Yeah. So we had fished a lot on the first day, and we were fishing weeds, rock. It was really strong winds from the north, and we were kind of running out of options. We had caught a little fish earlier in the day. I'm not even going to include most of that in here because it was just a small one. It was nothing that we were after, but this fish was actually pretty special we were ready to give up weren't we katie we were yeah. ready to head in for lunch and we thought let's give one more spot a try we went out to a main lake reef and you'll see in the video the wind super strong out of the north and we were actually trying to do like a reverse kind of controlled drift to cast on the deep side of this kind of reef or mid lake rock structure so we're going to run the video here and because it was so windy, I'm just going to mute the audio and I'll give a little bit of commentary as we go through the catch. And then afterwards, Katie was actually doing the handheld camera when we had the fish in the net. So let's run that video here right now. Okay, so we pulled up on this main lake reef. I'm running a Harvey Javelin. And you can see the waves are just pounding straight in. And I think my hook might have been fouled there a little bit or I might have picked up some floating weeds. I don't really recall. But it was definitely rough, wasn't it, Katie? Yeah. Very rough out there. So this is like my third or fourth cast in on the spot. And I'm casting the deep side of it. And as I'm pulling in, I'm not sure how many pulls in I get. And then my rod just stops right there. 
So now you see me, I'm trying to control the trolling motor and this fish is staying down deep. So I know it's a big fish. Big fish always stay deep. And because of the waves and the boat rolling on top of it, we got like one chance to get it. Rich gets it in the net. We're pumped. I didn't even know how big it was right away there. All right. Hey guys, Glenn McDonald with 54 Bust. And me and my daughter Katie and my brother-in-law Richard have been grinding out here all day. We've had, I think, three hit baits. We finally got a nice one in the bag here. I don't know that it's a 50, but it's gonna be in a good upper 40s. And the last little while we've been throwing diamond rise. So this is a Harvey Javelin and it hit it way out from the boat, just crushed it hard, doubled us over. We're out on a mid lake, kind of rock pile reef, and we got wind blowing right down in here. And we just kind of come here on a whim. We were like ready to head in for dinner. Let's have a look at this fish. Phone out too, Rich. Fuck yeah, buddy. 51. Okay, Katie, get a video of that. Okay, my phone's there, Rich. You ready? Okay, go to the other side, Katie. No, go over there with Uncle. Video of this. Mid Lake 51, right there. We'll take her. <laughs> So that was a mid lake 51 off a huge rock structure and we we're actually kind of fortunate to get that fish that day because we are fishing a lot of different types of structure and we just took a chance on that spot and what was that like seeing that fish there katie um pretty good pretty exciting wasn't it yeah. those big fish are pretty yeah. cool these girls katie and kenzie and dakota my other daughters have been in the boat with some pretty big fish and they just kind of take it in stride but I'll tell you what, folks, we don't take any of them for granted. We get pretty excited when we get big fish in the bag. And this fish was no exception, was it, Katie? That was a big fish when it come out. We got some pretty cool footage of it. And we kind of winded up our trip on that fish. So if you guys like this type of content, please like, subscribe. And for some really cool content, stick around because we're going to show a quick preview of next week's video, which is another hat trick video, all figure eight fish. They're going to be a really cool video for next week. And looking forward to next week. What are you looking forward to, Katie? Some big fish in the bag. Next week, we get a four footer in the bag. And it's pretty exciting, so stick around, watch that clip right now, and until next time, we'll catch you guys on the water, 54 bust out, and we'll see you all next time.